Hi guys, see you again in my channel. This time, I made a tutorial on how to draw a glasses case. Enjoy watching and hopefully useful. Create the extruded surface on the top plane. On sketch toolbar, choose the center point straight slot to sketch the profile. Set length dimensions at 162 millimeters. 62 millimeters wide. Exit sketch. Set the depth of direction 1 at 13.5 millimeters. Then direction 2 to 16.5 millimeters. OK. Create a split line on the extruded surface. On the front plane, create a sketch of the line profile. Then select split line. Click the free surface. OK. Create sketch profile again on the front plane in the form of lines and arcs. Set the arc radius at 100 millimeters. The closest height is 8 millimeters. Continue with add relations. Trim the line then fill in the sketch at 50 millimeters. OK and exit sketch. Select split line, then click on the remaining surface. Draft the upper and lower parts separated by a split line at a 3 degree angle. Create sketch and arc on the front plane as a trim tool. Set dimensions at 3 millimeters. Exit sketch. Then select the trim surface. Keep selection. Create the top and bottom surfaces with the filled surface command. To be able to create this surface, it is necessary to create constraint curves in the form of arcs on the front plane and the right plane. Set the height at 7 mm. You need the add relation command so that it becomes a full defined sketch. Select the fill surface. Right click, then choose select tangency. Click two arcs for the constraint curves. OK. Create a fill surface for the bottom part in the same way as above. OK. Then select the knit surface to change the surface to solid.
Next is the thick and cut command at the top of the lid. You need a surface profile to complete this command. Sketch the profile on the top plane. Select an arc to sketch it. Then continue with the add relation command. Set dimensions at 55 millimeters radius. Forty six millimeters wide, sixty three millimeters center distance, and eighteen point five millimeters. Copy the sketch with the mirror command. OK, then exit sketch. Select split line. Click the top surface. OK. Offset surface with 0 mm spacing. Then select the thicken cut command. Set thickness at 1 mm. OK. Set fillet to 0.5 mm radius. And 3 mm. OK. Choose a shell on the feature toolbar. Set thickness at 1.8 mm. Set radius at 0.5 mm. Sketch a line on the right plane. Then create a sweep surface. Select split to cut the case in half. Hide the bottom. Copy the sweep surface with the offset surface command. Set the distance at 2 mm. OK. Offset side body at 0.8 mm inside. Extend surface at 2 mm. On the feature toolbar, choose Split. Click the Trim Tools then click Bodies. Then click Cut Bodies. Click Body 3 and check Consume Cut Bodies. OK. Move face at 1 mm. Copy surface with the offset surface command. Set at 1 mm. Extend surface at 2 mm.
Select Split, then click Trim Tools. Select the target bodies. Click the Cut Bodies. Click Body 2. Check Consume Cut Bodies. OK. Draft at 3 degrees. Next, we make locks on the top and bottom openings. For the top opening, make a sketch profile on the right plane. Set dimensions at 4 mm. Forty five degree angle, one point four millimeters fillet radius. Trim then exit sketch. Choose an extruded boss for that profile. Select the mid plane. Set depth at ten millimeters. Move face 0.5 millimeters flip direction. Make a 3D sketch for the next to form command reference. Choose a deform. Click Initial Curves and Target Curves. Check Uniform. Click Fix Face. Then select the Combine command. Create a profile sketch on the right plane. Offset entities at 0.5 mm. Draw an extension line. Then fillet the radius of 1 mm. Convert entities. Add more lines. Trim Entities Exit Sketch Select the Mid Plane Then make a lock on the lower opening Create a split command in this section. Click Body 2. Check Consume Cut Bodies. OK. Add the draft command at an angle of 30 degrees. OK. Then on the right plane, create a sketch profile for the lock.
Exit Sketch Select the mid plane. Set depth at 9.5 millimeters. OK. Next, create a hinge for the casing. Choose the extruded boss at the right plane. Then create a line sketch profile. Set each dimension at 45 degree angle 0.3 millimeters 1.2 millimeters 0.25 millimeters 2.5 millimeters Trim entities then copy it with the mirror entities command. OK. Exit sketch. Select the mid plane. Set the depth at 94 millimeters. Uncheck merge result. OK. Divide into two parts with the split command. Sketch a square profile. Then on that profile, use it to create the split command. Select body 4. Check consume cut bodies. OK. Combine bodies. Create an extruded boss command with a square sketch profile. Combine bodies. So that this product can be molded on a plastic injection machine, then open the top cover 180 degrees against the hinge. Then use the combine command. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you later.